welcome back guys this is unfinished i am your host sk gitonga and today we're talking about peaceful picketing and on to our next question do you think picketing day should be set aside as a holiday let me know what you think in the comment section hashtag unfinished no because uh, everything doesn't have to stop because of picketing I mean, just because we're probably having those, uh, you know, financial strains, uh, we cannot have the whole country brought to a still because of that. I feel everything can still take place at the same time. So we can have picketing on one end, we can have people going about their business, such interviews going on. Just because we're having picketing probably in Dagoretti doesn't mean you shouldn't do your interview over here at uh, Kenti. Yeah, but... Not for everyone. Kuna watu holiday itambue. Kuna watu watambue holiday. But kama, kama, kama si lazima uende job. Usiende job. Ukijua kuna repercussions. Unajua tu watu wa manda mano wanapitia area yako. Unenda job kwa nini? Nini nakupeleka? Kierere. Wache kierere. So unafamu najua hizi njia wanenda kutumia. If they are passing through the way of which you are going. Pigia tu boss muambia kakia. My heart and my mind are different because Rayangu in a Freyani holiday, but still in my mind, a lot of things are going down when it comes to the holiday. Businesses are not doing well in sales. Sisika hasla to the bizuri. So heart, it's a resting day. But when it comes to mind, when you think in the end of the month, I need rent, I need, I need school fees. Then it may drag a lot of things. For an employer who's supposed to pay you, I don't make the right sale. So how will we have that? If there's damages, he will really think of us paying collect a stock amaku kurudich damages. So I'm thinking not really a holiday. Ah, uh, not really. I, I believe that uh, when uh, the government has already known that uh, peaceful picketing is something that is within the constitution and they don't criminalize it and uh, no one will be no one will be really scared of going to work because there is peaceful picketing right now if uh, you, you know people always uh, fear opening their shops and, uh, and uh, going going about their normal activity because we have uh, police officers using excessive force on the citizens you have them you have them throwing tear gas left right center you have them uh, using live bullets so of course even me i won't be able to freely go to work because i can be a victim of maybe a stray bullet yeah, no no uh, you should not go to that extent because every almost almost every time eh, people are coming up with different picketing uh, 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 modules like uh, on different areas because we, whenever people feel pressed even in different companies there yeah, are different organization they feel like doing that picketing or nini mandamano as you say yeah so i don't think if, if if it should lead a country or even even the workers in a company or whatsoever area where you are best to go for for a holiday i think it should i, I was to say no but yeah it it should because if it's not peaceful, if the people are not willing to be peaceful, then that means that people are dying just because not everyone is going to do it in a peaceful way or think about it in a peaceful way. So if I have a child and they're coming from school and they like meet with these people that are maybe violent or whatever, they might die, they might get hurt. So it, it should be a holiday, but it just doesn't seem right. Somehow a holiday somehow not a holiday a holiday why because we are not secure we are insecure actually of our own properties we don't know the persons when you want to at we don't yes we are one in picketing but we don't know the person that scenario it could take place that's on, on a holiday. So, tutafunga biashara koza tujui ni nini tutafanyiwa. Not a holiday, why? Tutaka kwa nyumba, tufanyi nini? Tulale nja. The change starts with us. You know, it really does. Because they have a very nice constitution, maze. Some countries, our neighbors can't protest. When they protest, they are killed, they are murdered, they are shot in the head. 
try that in Kenya, a revolution will happen, right? So I think I think change will happen in Kenya, but it will it will start with us ourselves, the fifty something million Kenyans, us ourselves, not at you our leaders. Our leaders are products of us. Yes. So yeah, it should start with us, and it should not be a holiday. That will bring us. That will that will kill commerce and our economy. Yes. So it should not be a holiday. Yes. Yeah. The essence of it is we are stopping everything. We are trying to communicate. So if others are working, what on any kama, nyenye muko, muko idol, and everybody should participate on it, and it should be a holiday. Yeah. No, no, no. Holidays should remain holidays. Picketing should remain picketing. Ah, uh, the Kenyan is obliged. Aki feel kama ako amex kuwa squeezed sana. You are afraid to go to the streets and demonstrate whichever day? Not really, uh, because a holiday is a time where you kind of have a, a free day, where people just come into Nairobi, go to recreation, uh, recreational, uh, recreational places, go have fun with the kids, go have fun with maybe your family, you know, maybe go out solo and just chill, enjoy, you know, you're not working, uh, you're just going out to kind of chill, because everything is just, uh, you know, cool. It's, it's sort of, uh, you know, a day where you're given, you know, you're not going to work. So, you know, go out there, have fun, uh, rejuvenize uh, your body, get more energy so that, you know, you can go back to work. But then now, picketing gives you a situation where you're not going, uh, you're not really, you're just stuck. You're stuck in the house because you just fear going outside and maybe get robbed. Or maybe even uh, find, uh, you know, the police at the corner and, you know, you don't know what might happen. Uh, we've seen people getting, you know, we've heard stories, you know, where somebody just got out to go and uh, buy something at the shop. Then they meet the police and, you know, boom, they're gone or something or they're attacked. So picketing kind of puts people in a place of insecurity. You're not really going out to kind of uh, enjoy yourself to ease your mind. You're actually even more stressed because maybe that day you've not even gone out to make money or something like that. So if you've not, uh, if you've not uh, kind of uh, made uh, money for that day, you've not opened for shop, you've not opened your business for the day, that puts you even in as much as you're in, you're in the house resting, you're not going out that work. Your your mind is not uh, going to be at, at peace. Yes, it should be a holiday because I feel like everyone has the right to voice out their opinions, and maybe bosses should be, should actually give out a free day to their workers. We unite as a country. On to our next question. Personally, how do you handle cricketing? Let me know in the comment section. For me, my day is just at home. I, I have somewhere that I usually go on Wednesdays here in town and I have found it so difficult for the last like three weeks going there because I had gotten so attached to it but just the fear of me coming here and something bad happening to me is something that I really think about so I just keep away from them and I just stay home and pray for them I'm like wow. When I can, when the situation allows whereby the protests are not happening where my my duties or my activities and and businesses of the day are, are not happening. Like say, say riots are not happening where I am heading to. It will work out. If riots will be happening where I'm heading to, I'll just have a meeting say over the phone. I don't go. I don't go because uh, I don't find it comfortable with me. Yeah, and uh, well, I, and I don't. I'm not against those people who go for mandamano. Uh, for them, they are they are they are they are acting as a voice to those who can't go there, because they are those who have got uh, disabilities and they are those who have got uh, uh, medical issues. Uh, they are those with even personal, even people with different personalities. When eh? Guinea wanna feel more professional, they can't find themselves there. When you know they have got their own reasons. How is he and Aoko? But me personally. Uh, I don't go there. My day sitasemani sawa, sitasemani poor, because there are damages, people wanomia. I spend my day just trying to build myself. I try to build uh, what I own, what I do, so that uh, if there is a better tomorrow. I always uh, stay at home because I don't want to be a victim of, uh, of police brutality. Yeah. Basically because of, not because of protesters, 
but uh, because of uh, police majorly. And uh, another case is also whereby uh, we have uh, we have uh, prote protesters also taking advantage, criminals also taking advantage of the peaceful protest, so they use that opportunity to to rob other people's properties, such like uh, that is uh, you know that is created by because the government has already criminalized it and they'll be chasing them up left, right, center, so they'll take ad that advantage and uh, maybe destroy other people's properties and maybe rob other people. So so I will. Uh, at any time when there is uh, picketing, I would stay at home. My name is Chana. I am so weak. Like they just beat me, so I just stay at home. I stay at home and maybe follow the news. Yeah, I just stay at home for my safety. I haven't been actively involved in the terms of like, you know, doing the running down with the uh, corrals and everything. But I support them. Like I do let them know that, yeah, you guys are not on your own. It's not like you're wasting your time. You have the energy to go on the streets, go. We are supporting you like we, yeah, we're backing you. So that's all I've been doing. Like if it's maybe on social media, I'll be retweeting every post to do with the picketing, you know, like just to show them that uh, you have the emotional backup. Well, home all day, all night. Yeah, like I literally cannot, uh, well, I, I live in Kibra, but then, uh, you know, the place where I live, you know, it's kind of uh, kind of peaceful on the days where there's picketing, but then still, you just can't, you do, really don't know, you really don't know the situation outside. So all you have to do is just stay inside, uh, go on social media, maybe on Twitter, you know, just go to the hashtag Mano Mano, and, you know, just see what's happening. That is, that is all I do, basically. Yeah, that is just all I do. I just stay at home and kind of monitor the situation in the CBD, the, sh the situation in Kibra, maybe in Matare, you know, just see what's happening. Yeah, just get get informed. But then I cannot really just go out because, uh, you know, I might find the demonstrators right outside and, uh, you know, that would be trouble for me. So personally, my day is, if, there are, if there's picketing going on, I'm home all day. So there's no need I go risk my life in picketing or something that it can't even add value for myself. But going out there, Niki raise my voice, ni toke up with kama sauti mepotea. So I better stay at home, just read, play games for my own. Ama ningie shule, library ni some. I don't see any value doing demonstration. Well, myself, I got no days off. Kila siku mi niko kazi, kila siku, hata leo si minona niko kazi. Friday ni mekua kazi, Thursday, kila siku mi mekua kazi. So it depends with your hustle, depends with your goal. Na depend pia una, pali, una, pali unatoa yo pesa. Na kuna mtu wa sipo enda kazi, hapati kitu. Na kuna mtu wa kienda kazi, hapo ndo anategemea. So, let's keep pushing manzi. Siku moja mungu atatone kania man. I'm at home. I'm at home, kwa news, seeing what is happening around. And also, at the same time, I'm a Christian, so I'm also praying for our nation and for peace and for guidance for our leaders, so that wherever they are, whether it's the opposition and whether it are those in the city, that God will just instruct them on how to guide and lead Kenya. So, stay under mano. Personally, because I love myself, I try to stay safe and also um, I would advise you guys to stay in your houses and buy food that is going to last you for a few days. Try to be peaceful during this season. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. See you next time.